Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Fire Brigade of Flames, Chapter 115. Uh, when we last left off, we were continuing our journey west through China, uh, and we we have we fought back, or uh, Shinra and Ogun fought back the giant worm monster, and continued discussing things with the mole, who we, whose name we learned was Shop, after we met another talking animal, talking crow, named Beauty. Uh, there were a lot of, like, a shit ton of questions left last chapter. Like, uh, we went into the Oasis and found a new, um, a second Amaterasu. A really, like, run-down Amaterasu compared to the one back in Japan. Uh, and then we also learned that only, like, some animals can talk here. Like, just Shop and Beauty, really. Uh, there was some, like, mysterious guy who looked like Death Gun from SAO uh, who just, who, like, attacked the Oasis and drove Shop out of it. Um, and, yeah, that's, we left off last chapter, Shinra, Shinra and Beauty had seen the second Amaterasu, and we open on Shinra and Shock. Why is that here? There's no mistaking it. And Beauty yells at him, hey, get down! Don't attract attention! And, uh, Shinra, I, it looks like Shinra kind of, like, gets back behind the rock a little bit. It was created by Vulcan's ancestors. And we, and we see this, like, two-page, um, cover page. Chapter 115, The Oasis, of them look, just looking at the Amaterasu. Also, like, really, I have, like, a really bad sore throat right now, so, like, my voice sounds bad. That's why I'm trying to, like, keep it down a little bit. But it hurts like hell. Uh, so now we see Victor, and the rest of the gang is climbed up the rock, and Victor is looking at the Amaterasu through binoculars. It's just as Shinra said. It may look small from here, but that's the Amaterasu. That's really Amaterasu? If it's not, it's too weird for something so similar to be out here. We need to get down there and investigate. Our, and uh, Shop uh, speaks up. Our god is in the center of the oasis. And a translator note, the kanji that Shop uses for god, pronounced Shintai, means an object of worship believes it contains the spirit of a deity. Alright, so, so he's not saying like the Amaterasu is an actual god, it just contains god. Alright. So, and uh, Shot like jumps down, I know a hidden path. And they're like walking through the forest. This tree looks healthy too. Our god is to the northwest. Uh, and they keep on walking. Where are the pirates? They must have surrounded our god, which means if we investigate, we can't avoid them. Or rather, there was some mention of, like, desert pirates last chapter, wasn't there? I, th I think there was. Um, and they hear, like, uh, like a rush of wind, uh, like, blow by, and Tamaki speaks up. If this god is the same thing as the Amaterasu, then is Adoraverse the source of its energy, too? And did that cause this abnormal restoration of the land? But would that mean Vulcan's ancestors didn't create the Amaterasu? Yeah, that's the important question. Because, <laughs> like, if Amaterasu is man-made, there's, like, a random, like, copy of it in the middle of China? Whoever did was either with the Holy Salt Temple or an ancestor of Vulcan. The story is going to be different depending on which was made first. Amaterasu and Tokyo were this Shintai. It should have been more likely they just made it later. If the power of the Adoraburst caused all this vegetation to be revived, then it can be useful for restoring the whole world. And that would mean the Adoraburst really is a sacred flame that can't be tainted. And Victor kind of like gulped, and like he like has some sweat running down his face. On the contrary, the Adoraburst was the flame that caused global destruction. And Shinra was like, what? Uh, and Takaru notes this like... I, don't know, I thought there was like some kind of like bug creature under the, uh, under the tree. That's a car. There are human artifacts all around. I noticed that too. They look like objects from before the Great Disaster. And Shot speaks up. We're approaching the center of the oasis. Be very careful. And uh, Shot like holds back his claw. Hold it. And everyone's like, what? Look, we made it to the pillar. And um, there's this giant like moss, like vine covered pillar in like the middle of the woods. These kinds of pillars are placed around God. Now it's more likely we'll encounter the pirates. And we see like there's a, this like circle of pillars around the Shintai. We, we came here just to investigate. I don't want to have unnecessary struggles. You can't negotiate with these guys. And, um, Beauty speaks up from on top of Pan's head. It's impossible to talk to them. And Shinra kind of, like, is, like, growling to himself. We may be zeroing in on the, on the mystery surrounding those people suffering from human combustion before the Great Disaster. And it's like you say that it's impossible to, ne to negotiate with these pirates. Then I'm going to investigate, even if I fight. Okay, okay, whatever you say, hero. That is not our mission. We can't start a fight. Pan's like, fuck that shit. We're not going there. Um, then... There's a page with load. There we go. And I'm not going to let anyone interfere in this investigation. 
oh, and Hito Hashirame, like, pops up behind him. Or, like, her face, like, pops up for a second. And Arthur grabs General's shoulder. Is it happening again? I didn't come all this way to back to go back without investigating. And Tamaki speaks up. I agree with Kusakabe. Okay, but we're firefighters. We're not the army. Fighting will be our last resort. I just want to have a peaceful negotiation. And Shabba's, Shabba, like, has a tear going down his eye. Hang on, I brought you here to help us recover the Oasis. I'm not going to make a unilateral decision now until I talk to them. We, and Shabba's, like, weeping now. We told you they don't want to talk. And there's some kind of, like, looks like a dinosaur mouth made of fire that, like, shows up. And Shinra and Arthur both look behind them. Oh, no, it's a flame human dog? Um, dogs? A flame human dog? And it bites Shinra on the ass? <laughs> hey, that hurt flame human dog. What the hell is a flame human dog? It's a hot dog. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty funny, Arthur. I'm not gonna lie. I'm totally calling them hot dogs now. And they're all running away from the hot dogs. Forget the name. Just run. Um, and uh, Shop like jumps onto Pan's back and like he grabs Pan by the cheek. I warned you, talking doesn't work with them. You mean those pirates were the dogs? <laughs> okay. And the translator note, not quite sure why Shop was referring to the dogs as pirates. It could be a pun on something, or simply didn't know the word for dog and had to use any other word he could think of. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the dogs were the pirates. Climb up the tree, and Shinra, uh, Victor, and Ogun are all, like, jumping up the tree. And a, and a hot dog, like, like bites onto uh, Takaru's arm. Ow, that hurts! Help! Someone help! And uh, Tomoki starts praying. Ashes to ashes. May your soul return to the raging flames. Um, and while she do she's doing that, Victor just, like, cuts up the, uh, the hot dogs. Rotomu. Save all from the ashes, even if they're dogs. That is our mission as firefighters. You should have said there were dogs in the beginning. You shouldn't have come here. My friends were devoured by those dogs. I'd even tried to fight them. Hold up, Shop, did, weren't you, like, trying to get them to come here in the first place? But, but, their boss is even stronger. There was nothing I could do. And Shinra's, like, holding onto a tree, and he looks out, and he sees something. Protect the forest. Oh, is he, like, hearing, like, the, the desires of Amaterasu? And he, he, like, has this, like, look of shock on his face. And he, like, centers in on the Amaterasu. It's the Adora Link. He's having an Adora Link with the Amaterasu. Protect? Did I just hear the god that dwells inside of the Amaterasu? Suddenly an Adora Link, and coming from Amaterasu... Shinra, find out who's behind the mysterious voice. To be continued, chapter 116, The Holy Land. Alright. Uh, so this was an interesting chapter, I'd say. Uh, we got plenty of, like, new mystery, or plenty of, like, advancing on the current mysteries. Like, it looks like, based on what Shop said, um, that my friends were devoured by those dogs, that, like, the writer guy, the death gun looking guy that he mentioned last chapter, is the leader of the dogs, I'm guessing. Um, he's, like, the controller of them, so I guess we're gonna be fighting him. Um, and then we saw, you know, the actual voice of the Amaterasu, which raises all kinds of questions as to what it is. Like, is definitely not man-made. If there's, like, an actual god in there that's, like, talking to Shinra. I'm like, I got no idea what it is. But I can't wait to find out next week. Um, and then, yeah, we had a, had a fun little fight with the hot dogs. That wasn't really too much. Um, and yeah, we see, like, I'm guessing that in Tokyo, they don't really see non-humans getting turned into flame, into, like, flame creatures. Uh, I think this is, a, this must be a first for them. Um, and yeah, yeah, so I, I guess, I'm trying to figure out why, why Shop would say that they don't want to talk rather than they just can't. Maybe he doesn't know that flame humans can't talk in general, and normally the dogs would be able to talk because of Amaterasu? I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe the reason, like, they haven't seen any non-humans turn into dogs is because these flame humans, these, the hot dogs are, like, created by the White Hoods, maybe? I'm not quite sure. I figure there's some mystery going on. Maybe the Death Gun guy um, looks like a White Hood, or it ends up like working for the White Hoods. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, there's a bunch of mysteries going on. There aren't a whole lot of answers, and I can't really. There's not too much to talk about. I am curious 
who who the voice is. But I, I don't think it's just they're like I don't think we're gonna introduce gods now. Like two 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 and a half years into the series, like oh yeah, now there are gods. Um, I don't know where we're going from here, but yeah, it's kind of kind of all I got. This was a this was a fun chapter. Nothing too great, but it was it was good. It was good progression on the current storyline. Uh, so yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Hope you all enjoyed it too. If you did and, and enjoyed the video, you can drop me a like, subscribe, whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. I have these live reaction videos up every week for this series, as well as for several others. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it. So as always, people, keep kicking ass, and I'll see you in the future. Bye.